um, a unit of legionnaires against Parthia's Eastern Javelin Men and Cataphract Horse Archers. First, I'm going to run the test using the legionaries in a fairly standard 4 man deep formation. I'm going to put my general away here. And then I'm just going to start the battle and see how my guys do frontally against these um, these Eastern Javelin Men. Now, things to note is that the Eastern Javelin Men have gotten a nice increase to their to their, their missile damage with 45, and I think they also have 11 armor penetration. So, the Noble Horse Archers are using Flaming Shot, which won't do a whole lot, but as you can see, the Eastern Javelin Men are getting quite a few kills with each volley, 20 kills already. And let's see if they're able to destroy the entire unit here before they run out of ammunition. Uh, my legionnaires are dying quite quickly. We are losing ground. So we are down to 50 men, and now the javelin men are out of ammo, so they are going to charge. So frontally. Uh, I, lo I lost 50 men. Then I'm going to do the test again. Now I'm just going to put my units into uh, tacking Testudo. Which should make them able to hold up against the missile onslaught. General! So putting them over here, attacking Testudo. Attacking Testudo! And starting the battle. So it's nice that these uh, noble horse archers are using flaming shot because that really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. So we're able to see what the javelins do here. Now the javelins who were able to kill uh, kill 50 men in the previous test. And as you can see now, I haven't lost a single man. Now I lost two. Now I have lost four, so definitely getting good protection from this uh, Testudo, but the thing to keep in mind is that the Testudo has best defense from the front. From the sides, it really doesn't protect as well, which we'll see in another test, and now I only lost 20 men, so very effective. And. Now I'm going to allow him to get some, or actually, first I'm going to try loose formation and see how loose formation is compared to more compact formation. So get the Legatus out of the way, loose spacing, put them here. Now the depth of the formation also plays a factor, but I'm not going to do that here, but just going to explain how it works. If these men were in a single line, more shots would miss and pass over the unit, and if these men are in a deeper formation, more shots will hit the men behind the guys in the front. So here we go. Javelins incoming. Losing men at the first volleys. Still not as fast as when just standing in a thick formation. The thing to keep in mind with the loose formation is that it would make me a lot more vulnerable to cavalry charges. But here we go, losing a lot more men than in the previous test. The Eastern Javelin men have managed to rack up 50 kills soon. Well, 46 kills, which is just about the same as just standing together in a close formation. Now, some people have been saying that uh, the Testudo makes Rome overpowered against skirmishing factions. Now, I will try to illustrate why that isn't necessarily the case. With um, with the attacking Testudo, you can move forward, so that is a big plus. However, you do increase the size of your flanks. So, while your front is protected fairly well here, you're also creating a nice big flank for flanking charges, and you're also creating a nice big flank for missiles to hit. So, as you'll see now, when these uh, Eastern Javelin men are coming, my shields won't be able to protect 
the flanks of these men here. So they will be hit quite severely by the by the javelins. And here they go. So instantly I lost 12 men. Now I'm down to 80 already. So this test will be the worst one by far. As you can see, the Testudo offers no protection from the side and they're routed. So quite decisively defeated there. And that just illustrates how important it is to uh, to be able to face the Testudo forward. If you get surrounded by skirmishing units, you will be picked apart very easily if you get flanking shots in. Now, the worst scenario here should probably be being shot in the rear. So let's try that one. They will be able to lift their shields, which should make some of the missiles hit them hit the shields and bounce off, but overall being hit in the rear should not be a good time for my legionaries here. So ready to die. First volley coming in. Killed eight men. Killed more than ten. And as you can see, with the rear shots, this unit is just dying really quickly. So this shows the importance of, the if you're wavering. a skirmishing faction, it shows the importance of getting in flanking shots and rear shots. And the if you are the wavering. one being shot at, it shows the importance of always facing the unit that is shooting at you. So thanks for watching and see you again.